in the meantime, the elites can't plug the leak. They can't do anything to get the bad news to stop raining out of the sky, falling from the clouds, literally pouring acid rain upon Joe Biden, the puppet president, the puppet of the elites. His son, Hunter, all right, is in another world of crap that I hope something's done about it, but probably nothing will be done about it. New emails from Hunter Biden. Business associates reveal he asked for $2 million retainer plus success fees to help them unfreeze $30 billion. That's a billion Dr. Evil style in Libyan assets while his father was vice president. Emails. From Democratic donors Sam Jahari and Sheikh Mohammed Al Rabani indict indicated, not indicted, that Hunter Biden had offered to help free frozen Libyan assets. Jahari was frank about the kind of access they believed Hunter Biden might have, as well as his issues involving alcohol and drug use. What do you know? His uh, habits are world renowned. The two were working to unfreeze billions of dollars in assassinated Libyan president uh, president. Muammar Gaddafi's foreign assets for the new Libyan government, they stood to gain 5% of whatever they were able to free up for Libya, which could potentially mean hundreds of millions of dollars. Folks, I have a really simple way that if you're not sure, if you haven't made up your mind yet, how you can tell that the elites in this country all right, the wicked elites, the progressive left elites, there are some elite folks, there are some Donald Trump like folks out there that have a lot of money that have their views, but kind of do the right thing by the people. All right, I'm not saying that I trust a billionaire per se, but I am saying that there are people with a wicked agenda and then that there are other people that believe in a freer system for all. And these left wing folks, these Hunter Bidens, these Pelosi's, their children, their parents, their brothers, their sisters, their nephews, uncles, cousins, sisters, former roommate, whoever. Listen, all of these folks, they're corrupt. These elites are corrupt. They pit us against each other. The working class of this country, regardless of what we believe, whether we're capitalists, whether we believe that capitalism is bad, whatever it is, they pit us against each other so they can prosper off our backs. That's what they do. That is what they do. And it's time we recognize the distinct and big difference between us and them. I don't believe in what uh, uh, extreme folks believe in. I really don't. But I do see the writing on the wall. I'm not dumb. You don't have to be uh, an extreme person on the right to see the writing on the wall. All right. You can do small things to do something about it. You don't have to be a part of that group when they point at you and they say you're far right, you're alt right, you're this, you're that. You don't have to accept that. You don't have to acknowledge that you can be a stable, normal person that does good in this universe that works hard and has conservative values but isn't a wackadoodle for believing the truth because it's right in front of your face. They literally call us idiots. They look at you, they look at me, and they say, you're dumb. You're not elite. You're not a, a part of the super, super rich, affluent upper class that controls everything about society. You aren't one of us. You don't belong. We make the decisions. You sit down. You shut the hell up. They're doing that to us right now. We all see it. It's right in front of our face. So don't be afraid to say something about it. All right. They do it right in front of us. These new emails from Hunter Biden. They're revealing that he's doing stuff in Libya. This guy's a crackhead. All right. Hey, I knew people that were crackheads. They did not negotiate for the freezing or unfreezing of $30 billion, yet $30 of any foreign government, any person's bank dealings for that matter. So why does Hunter Biden get this, uh, 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 get this prestigious possible job offering because he's Joe Biden's son, because he is dealing, 
all right, with people who want access to Hunter, uh, not Hunter, to Joe Biden, excuse me, his 50 year black book of political connections in Washington. Meanwhile, they're destroying, destroying our country and what our founding is all about. If you want to know a lot more about that, a great blog post came out on the website. I just want you to take a look really, really quick, really quick. Just an intermission. Go to www.americanrevely.com. It's called Leviathan, the true progressive agenda by Michael Craig. It's a good little 15 minute read there, but it gets into some deep, deep and deep inside information about what the progressive left and their agenda is and has always been that has led up to this monstrosity. But folks, I want to start reading this. We need to get into it and we're going to go right now. A pair of emails from business associates of Hunter Biden revealed he offered to help them unfreeze Libyan assets for a $2 million retainer plus success fees, while they also discussed their misgivings over his drug and alcohol abuse. Sex success fees sounds like some mafia stuff, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Like, if I complete the job, I want an extra amount. You know, you get 150 up front, 150 after the deed is done. That's what it sounds like to me. The email exchanges were between mid level Democratic donors Sam Jahari and Sheikh Mohammed al Rabani, who in 2015 were both working on behalf of the new Libyan government to free up $30 billion in state foreign assets. They had been frozen by the Obama administration under the deposed Mo, uh, Muammar Gaddafi regime in 2011. Excuse me. The emails are unrelated to those on his laptop, which outlined a number of his other business dealings. The computer was found at a repair shop in Delaware. In their first email dated January 28th, 2015, sent by Jahari to Al Rabani and obtained by Business Insider, Jahari discusses what he believes the younger Biden might bring to the table in their efforts. He outlines the number of connections Hunter has, including his role as chairman of the UN World Food Program and the relationship he has with then Secretary of State John Kerry and his then Vice President father, which in turn could provide access to a Obama's file on Libya. How in the hell does Hunter Biden have or had a role as the chairman of the UN World Food Program in his time smoking Parmesan cheese? Is that what it is? He's experienced with smoking Parmesan uh, cheese, thinking that it's crack after days and days and days of uh, uh, crack induced benders. Is that how you get a UN World Food appointed position? Is there a special hat for that? Does he get to wear a cheese hat? No, since he travels with dad, this is a quote, he is connected everywhere in Europe and Asia where MQ, Muammar Gaddafi, and LIA, Libya Investment Authority, had money frozen, Jahari writes. Adding that Hunter was also, Hunter has also said, he has high level access in China and that he can help there. So the laptop is confirmed. And it is said, it is written, it's in the email, that Jahari said that Hunter has high-level access in China. There's a lot of stuff going on in China, a lot of stuff going on in China involving Biden, involving Hunter Biden, a lot of stuff in China involving a little thing known as COVID-19. How deep does this rabbit hole go, guys? How deep do you really think it goes? China at the time, had been blocking the release of roughly $15 billion in Gaddafi's assets that Obama ordered frozen amid a bid to increase its influence in Africa. Jahari wrote that Hunter wanted $2 per year retainer and success fees. Excuse me, $2 means $2 million. It says it right here. Sources familiar with the effort told Business Insider that two meant $2 million and that Jahari and his associates stood to gain 5% of whatever Libyan money they were able to free up. That sounds so mafia. It sounds like they watched some casino, some, uh, some, some Sopranos, and made some decisions there. Jahari is frank, however, 
about how Hunter might pose problems for their endeavors. Quote, his negatives are that he's an alcoholic drug addict kicked out of the U.S. Army for cocaine, chasing low class hookers, constantly needs money, liquidity problems and many more headaches. He wrote, hmm, that sounds like everything we've been talking about for well over a year. In the second email, dated a little more than a year later, on February 26, 2016, talks with Hunter Biden over his role in the Libyan project appeared to still be ongoing. In it, John Sandweg, a lawyer who served as Obama's acting director of immigration and customs enforcement, sends Jahari and Al Rabani a report on his talks with Hunter, according to Business Insider. That's great. I spoke with HB's team yesterday. They are interested in the project, but emphasize that for them to get involved, the team, lobbyists, lawyers, and PR would need to be a small group of folks that they have a, they have a tight relationship with each other. Listen, guys, why would Hunter want a small group of people to be in the know about this unless he had something to hide unless he had something to hide there's a picture of Muammar Gaddafi right there they do not want a large group involved they only want people with whom they have a close relationship with due to the sensitivities surrounding their involvement Sandwig wrote the talks came as Joe Biden was weighing his run for president in both emails they report that Hunter had requested secrecy over his involvement Ultimately, Jahari ended up hiring neither Sedwig nor Hunter to help with the effort to free up the funds, but Sandwig confirmed to Insider that he had been in contact with an associate of Hunter Biden. They indicated that they would consider it and passed the message back, he told the outlet. Look, folks, I believe anything at this point in regards to Hunter Biden. There's been so much sneaky, shady stuff. I'm just waiting for the Hiroshima bomb of information to explode. The elites are going to do everything that they can, everything in their power to hold back the floodgates. But we, the people, if we keep fighting, if we keep working together, if we keep spreading the truth, those floodgates will burst open. The dam will be broken and a flood of information will come out and we will see the true face of the bad guys here. The elites will be revealed. That's just how this works. That's just how it's going to be. Sometimes it's slow. Sometimes it takes time. We have to be patient, but you have to keep pushing back on their agenda. Hunter Biden won't get away forever. He won't get away forever. But it starts with you. It starts with you electing the right people. It starts with you paying attention in local local government, local politics. What are the people in your local government being influenced by? What companies, what people dig, folks, dig. It doesn't make you a conspiracy theorist. There are some crazy things going on out there that aren't true, but there's a lot of things that you've heard that actually are. So you should question things. You should check out what other source of, uh, sources of information have to say, and then you should make a decision yourself. That's how this works. 